keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're bringing out the OG Lob Threat build. Now, before we get into the video though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video will push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribing will put you on Naughty Game for my daily double uploads. But now let's jump in straight into this video. So, you want to go power forward with this build. Um, it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. I just love going left-handed because I'm left-handed in real life. Jersey number, again, that does not matter, right? Um, height, we're going to go 6'9 with this, all right? We're going to go 250, and we're going to max our wingspan all the way out, okay? So 6'9", 250, 7 foot, um, seven wingspan because we want to have that 95 strength, and we also want to make sure we have a 99 driving dunk, all right? Body shape, go to fine, built, doesn't matter. I'm going built. This is going to be a pure inside, okay? This is going to be going back to, like, your OG glass cleaning finisher type. Excuse me. Or even, like, my OG live threat build. All right, so again, we already know how it works. You want to get close shot. You want to get your fearless finisher, masher, and fast switch on gold. That's going to be very important, um, especially in this day and age now with interior defense being buffed. Masher actually has been working a lot for me, okay? So now no more of them 6'3 guards getting 8% contest, and I was missing. But then I put Masher on silver, um, and I've been making those. So that's something to take into consideration now. Masher does work. You have to be 3 inches or taller, though than the individual okay so you can't be doing this against a 6'9 same person your height and having activated but you do will you will go against smaller individuals especially if you do a lot of 1v1 like i do so that's why i rock out like that get your driving dunk to 99 which is going to be insane slithery limitless posterizer all on hall of fame which is going to be crazy and then get your standing dunk to 90 right 90 standing dunk will give you rise up on gold also which is pretty op okay then we're going to go ahead and skip all that. Remember, this build is not meant to shoot, so we're skipping this. We're skipping three ball. We're going 71 on the free throw. All right, that's it. 71 on the free throw, and that's it. This is a pure inside, all right? Now, but this pure inside is going to be able to dribble and facilitate. That's what makes this really dope, okay? 83 pass accuracy. Max out that ball handle. Go 71 with your speed with ball. So now, as you're going to see, you can set screens all day. On your for your guard but then you can pop out get the ball yourself dribble go to the basket and just get contact dunks very very fun build here it's a different type of play style i know a lot of people don't like running with pure insides but this pure inside is not the inside that just can't dribble right it's not going to be someone that just got finishing defense rebound that's it this one can actually dribble this is what makes it really dope okay then on the defensive side all right you want to go 80 on your interior defense and you want to go 80 on your perimeter so you can be able to play that perimeter a little bit Go ahead and go 78 on your steal. Now, <coughs> excuse me. The reason why I go 78 <clears throat> is to get your interceptor on silver. So that's the reason why we did that. Go 75 on your block. 75 on your block will give you chase down on gold, right? So by going 70, this will give you, um, obviously, this will give you anchor. But then going 75 will give you chase down on gold, right? That's why we're doing that. 70 on your offensive rebound and 71 on your defensive, okay? So what you're looking at right now is 23, 0, 21, and 21. And then what you want to do here on your speed is go 75 on your speed. You want to get your uh, 71, max out your acceleration. You want to have as high acceleration as you can. Get your strength, max that all the way out to 95. That is going to give you your bully on Hall of Fame, which is crazy. 82 on the vert, and then, of course, 90 on your stamina. So by going 95, look at this, though. You get your brick wall on Hall of Fame, which is going to be insane, okay? And then you'll also get bully on hall of fame which is going to be insane this is a build that you definitely want to use double core badge on finishing insane you'll be able to get bully posterizer rise up fast twitch limitless takeoff and slithery you'll be able to get all those badges by doing a double core if you did that so again very important if you did that i recommend it highly okay if you did not hit level 39 i mean it was it 39 or 40 last season man you should have because the double core badges makes builds really really toxic especially like bad builds that don't you know that you you want to get your hall of fame badges all your tier three badges okay um then you have slashing you have 
playmaking, you have lock, and you have rim takeover. Obviously, in this instance, I'm always going to go easy blow bys. With the second one, you can go with, you know, perimeter badge drop, maybe clamps. You can also go with, um, you know, stuff blocks or paint intimidation. I'm just going with extreme clamps. It's just something that I think that would be good to have with your center build to be able to facilitate in that area to be able to help on pick and rolls and just be able to help play defense. You have an 80 perimeter defense with 80 interior, so you do have that versatility there, okay? Um, and then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. Again, man, this Lobster was the first build that really put me on the map back in 2K20, so it's a very important build. You know, I always got to bring this build out and show love for it. But then here you have it. You have the OG Lob Threat, okay? Now, there is a version that can shoot, so let me know in the comment section if you want the shooting version. I can do that for you, too. But now let's go ahead and go over the badges, all right? So let's head over here to these badges. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, we want limitless takeoff. That's six. We want slithery. That's that's ten. And then again, like I said, you get posterizer here. But then imagine being at the core of this also. So imagine bully being cored also with your eight, and you don't you still have your thirteen, right? Then you can go ahead here. And then you go here, and all you have to do is to add one more badge point, and you'll get that, okay? But I would just recommend putting all your badges in on the finishing, right? Because you want to have Fearless. You want to have, like, you know, Aerial Wizard. You want to have Acrobatic. You want to have as many badges as you can here, all right? Don't worry about here. On this side, again, we're not trying to go crazy with it, but you can go ahead and get your quick first step. Um, that's five. Let's go Hyperdrive. That's eight. Let's go here, nine, ten. Then, of course, you get your unpluckable. But see, me, I'm thinking like, eh, we can just go ahead and go five on unpluckable, right? But we really want to get this clan breaker. So let's not even do that yet. This core clan breaker first. Now, I know a lot of y'all can be like, why? Right? You want a core clan breaker because you're not worn by handles for days because you're not going to be dribbling like that, right? Maybe you are. But then you can go ahead and go unpluckable, right? If you want to get two more badge points here to do that, go ahead. Add two more badge points there. But to me... <clears throat> This build is going to set screens, pop, roll, get to the basket, dunks. It does not need to be dribbling all day, but that's something to take in consideration, okay? Um, and then here we go here, and we'll get the last two out the way. Let's just go here. And then, um, well, actually, we probably can get break start, to be honest with you. That would be a smart move, dude. Get break started, all right? So we'll do that. Then on the defensive side, you want to get clamps. Um, let's get chase down. That's seven. Uh, let's see. We got anything here. One workhorse, all right. That's seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. We go here. So let's make sure we get everything here. Let's core that. No, sorry. Core brick wall here, and then here. So we got everything we need down here, all right. So then now we got one more left. Let's go clamps. So you can get chased down on gold, all right. So it's really dope, man. Like I said, to have a build like this, there's a lot of versatility in this. It'd be really fun. The dribbling aspect, the driving dunk aspect of 99, the 90 standing dunk, you know, the Hall of Fame bully, Hall of Fame posterizer combination. Should be a really good build and fun to play with. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.